Her parents are delighted the night's been a smashing success, especially Pat Baby. This is probably one of the greatest times I've ever had in my life because this is a party. And memory of my sister, for my daughter, you know, with my wife that set up everything in here, this is party of the millennium. Obviously, there's a lot of different cultures and different types of people in the world, but some cultures are just stupid, okay? And one of them is gypsies. They do some dumb shit. Like they scam people, um, they beg for money when they don't really need it and they're driving an Escalade. And also they get married at 14 years old and they find their husbands at Halloween parties. All right, I don't know if they all do that, but this next girl from TLC is doing that. She's looking for a husband at a Halloween party and she's 14 years old. Tucked into the shadows of Douglasville, Georgia is a secret community that's home to Romani shell gypsies like 14 year old Priscilla. The camper behind me, it's, you know, it's my home. That's my gypsy home, and I'm, I love my gypsy home. Priscilla lives with 32-year-old dad, Pat Baby. 33-year-old. 32, I thought they were going to say she lives with 32 of her family members, and that wouldn't surprise me at all. Luann and little brother Miles. She's pretty. She's pretty. Bro, the, the hallmark of a ghetto family is not only living in a trailer, but your little kid is always wearing floaties for some reason. Even when they're not in the pool, they just have floaties on. Though barely into her teens, gypsy tradition decrees that Priscilla will soon wed. Why did gypsies always have this weird artwork crap that literally nobody else would want? Do they pretend, like when people come over, are they like, yo, look at my vase. I got it from, um, it's from like 16th century China and it's worth like $20 million. But really, they found out like a garage sale somewhere. I feel like they just keep this stuff because they're like, oh, it looks fancy, doesn't it? Doesn't it look fancy, Dale? We should put that in our house. It'll make our little trailer look all fancy. Most 14-year-old gorgeous girls are in school. I'm here cleaning, and, you know, that's the way I like it to be. Thousands of us gypsy girls across, you know, the world, you know, we think of this as fun. And if I don't clean, I kind of feel like empty, like I haven't really done much, you know, I've just been lazy or something. I mean, that's definitely not a bad habit to instill in your kids. Like, hey, clean the house whenever you have free time. Don't just sit on your iPad. Uh, I think that's pretty good, you know, but it's crazy. You will literally believe whatever you are raised in. If you're raised a Christian, you'll be like, there's a man in the sky and Jesus came and died on the cross. If you're raised a gypsy, you're like, women need to stay at home and clean the trailer for the men. And also our little boy needs to wear floaties all the time. Um, so yeah, like whatever you're raised as, it's just ingrained in you to believe it. And uh, it's just crazy to see different cultures because I think some of their stuff is weird, but I was raised in a different culture. So things that I think are normal are because I was raised to think that they're normal. And same with you guys. Uh, whatever you probably think some weird shit is real, uh, but really you were just like raised to believe it. You know, different cultures have different things like those African cultures where they stretch their lips out like huge in their ears. Like we think that's weird, except goth kids. They like to stretch their ears too, but I don't know about the lips. Priscilla's honing her gypsy housewife skills. Now she just needs to find a husband. At 14, I think she's potentially looking for maybe her future husband. She is ready to get married, okay? She can clean and she can make grilled cheese. And in the gypsy culture, that's all you need, okay? The man goes out to work and uh, makes fake cardboard signs saying that he needs money uh, and just collects money from strangers all day. And then he comes home to a nice grilled cheese and a clean trailer. Courtship, you know, don't start at 25 when you're a gypsy. This is her engagement time. And for gypsies, courtships often move at warp speed. We meet each other young. Immediately, within about third or fourth conversation, we're talking about marriage. Why 14, though? Is the man going to be way older? And if, in your, if you're in the United States, you really can't be because there's still laws regardless of your culture. You can't be, you know, 28 and marry a 14-year-old. But if it's another 14, 15-year-old man, boy, what are they going to do? Isn't the whole point of marriage to be with someone and sustain your own family unit and not be reliant on mommy and daddy? Because at 14, you can't even get a job. I mean, yeah, you can go beg and make up fake stories about being homeless and get money that way like some gypsies do. 
but you can't go get a real job and you can't buy a house and you can't even drive. So why 14? I just, I don't get 14. Why? Just wait like four more years where she can actually go get a job. I guess she's not going to get a job because in the gypsy culture, women don't work. Uh, they just clean and make grilled cheese. Um, but what man are you going to find that's going to take care of her? At 18, I couldn't take care of a woman. I got married at 21 and I could barely do it then. I figured it out eventually, but that shit was hard. I can't imagine trying to do it at 14. Well, you know, that's what we base our life around is finding the perfect husband and getting married to him and having the home. You know, and it's, it's very important to us. To hasten the process, Priscilla's parents are throwing a Halloween party to show her off to potential partners. It's potentially a what pivotal moment in Priscilla's life, as there may be a future husband lurking about. Yeah, there's some people lurking about waiting for this little 14-year-old that dresses like a hoochie mama. There's some lurkers, but they ain't future husbands. They're just straight-up creepers. Dude, her dad looks like a grungy little dirty... I don't even know what you'd call this dude snake salesman or something and then the girl's pretty and then her mom looks like she maybe used to look like her daughter but then had a few extra mcribs you know um but this guy he's creepy as hell i wouldn't be surprised if he's throwing this little uh halloween party as a charade and really he's just selling her to like one of his gypsy buddies who like is rich for some reason he's like you give me ten thousand dollars and i'm gonna give you my daughter she's kind of pretty ain't she that guy's like, 10000 I'll give you three and a half. And he's like, three and a half? Like, oh, yeah, man, I would have settled for one. Looking stunning in her flamboyant dress. She's Looking stunning in her Barbie doll dress that's the size for a normal person for some reason. They've blown the competition away. <laughs> there was competition. Priscilla was breathtaking. She absolutely took my breath away. Oh, my God. She's something out of a magazine. Back in the swans. And it was like a big square. It had hearts all over it. I had hearts Priscilla all over it. She was just a little princess. Priscilla's dream has become a reality. She's the belle of the ball. Now she needs her prince charming. I love 14. 14 is the weird age when all the girls are still taller than you. So it's kind of awkward. I feel like all the 14 year old girls, they would always go for the older guys. Uh, and they wouldn't even look at you because you were shorter than them. But then, like, a couple years later, you were finally tall again. And then you're like, yeah, bitch. You didn't want to talk to me a few years ago when I was six inches shorter, did you? Now you like me, huh? Because I've been working out. And I got a little taller. All right, this isn't about me. This is about the TV show. When boys look at my daughter in her beautiful pink dress, I want the best boy to pick her and say I'd like to have her and be my wife forever. And that's what I did with my wife. I picked and chose. And I'm happy now, and I hope some young man picks and chooses and be happy forever with my daughter. This guy sounds like a dumbass, dude. I want some 14-year-old boy to pick, pick my girl and be like, I'm going to be with her forever. Dude, at 14, how are you going to choose who you're going to be with forever, dude? You know how many girlfriends I had at four, like from 14 to 16? Like 30, dude, because we broke up every weekend. And uh, there's no, you know, you all talk like, oh, my God, I love you. I'm going to fall in love with you forever. And then a week later, you're like, um, you didn't text me back for like two days, so we're breaking up. When you're 14, you're not even the same person that you're going to be when you're 20, when you're 25, when you're 30. Like, you'll change so much. 14-year-olds are just large children that just hit puberty and started growing, but they're still like, you know, they were just playing with Legos five seconds ago, and now you want them to get married? No boys have really jumped out there and caught my eye. Yes. And her 90 pound dresses is all it's surprising because those are pretty big eyes. So letting her down. When the balls, it's fallen and when I did she that, she danced right out of it. The boys will probably like my dance outfit better than this one because, of course, it shows off a little bit more skin. Especially the shorts with the little hearts on the bottom. I've been keep telling the boys, you can look at everything, but don't look at her hearts. And right away they go, okay, yes, ma'am. But then I spot them eyeballing her when she walks by. I think they're big bullseyes, you know, just look here, flash, flash. Now it's the winner, the king up in this mother lover right here. It's Jimmy Smith. Bring it up to the dance floor. Hey, your mic, baby. The queen is Priscilla Lee Kelly. Yeah, yeah. They have one dance by themselves. One dance right here. They have one dance by themselves. Her freaking mom can't even speak English. 
No wonder she wants her daughter to get married at 14. I, I, why get married at 14? Like my great grandma got married at 14, but that was back when like you got a job when you were like six years old, you had your own farm by the time you were 12 and then 14, you were pretty close to death. So you better pop out a kid. So your genes continue. But nowadays 14 year olds are idiots. So why would you want them to get married? What are you, what are you going to do? She's going to get married to this like gypsy Ken doll. And then they're all going to move into your trailer together and then watch the little brother wear floaties. What, what are they going to do? Are they going to get their own trailer? Did you already buy a trailer to give them? Cause they can't afford their own trailer. And if they don't get married and they just start courting and dating and banging, then she's going to get pregnant. And then you're going to have another little kid wearing floaties in your trailer. And it's your great grandkid, not your great grandkid, your regular grandkid. If I had a daughter, that was 14. I can't imagine I would even want her speaking to boys, let alone thinking about getting married. I'd be like, yeah, hey, how about you get an education, uh, come up with some kind of business plan, something to better your future. And then once you're like older, you have your life established, you own a house, you like are making good money, then the right guy will come around who's also doing that same shit and is up to your standards and you can get married to that guy. But when you're 14, the only thing you know is who's good looking. Oh, you're good looking. You want to make out? Okay. But you don't know anything else. There's no point in getting married when you're 14. Unless you just want it to end with a baby mama. You got three babies and a divorce by the time you're 20. Her parents are delighted the night's been a smashing success. Especially Pat Baby. This is probably one of the greatest times I've ever had in my life because this is a party. And memory of my sister for my daughter, you know, with my wife that set up everything in here. This is party of the millennium dude that's not the party of the millennium that's a party where everyone went to goodwill found an old costume put it on bejeweled it danced around and got drunk and you're all all their iqs seem like they're below 11 i don't even know what normal iq is but i'm gonna guess theirs is 11 because the way they speak the way they want their daughters to get married at 14 um the way they bejewel everything and think it looks good and classy and the way they have ancient art from freaking China, but it's really just, you know, from Pottery Barn or does Pottery Barn sell pots like vases and crap? I don't know. But anyway, what did you guys think of this gypsy party? Do you think uh, people should get married at 14 years old? Do you think the people in this video are smart enough and should be even allowed to procreate or get married? Um, I don't think so, but anyway, hit the subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Dude, you gotta watch this video. <laughs> uh.